between 2021 and 2022. Constitutionally elected governments were overthrown by military regimes in Burkina Faso, Mali and Guinea. In other countries like Côte d'Ivoire and Togo, governments attempted to extend their staying power beyond their constitutional mandates with varying degrees of success. Other democratic infractions in West Africa include curtailment of individual freedom and human rights through internet blackout at the height of violent protests, arbitrary arrests, and suspected fraud in elections in countries like Niger and Senegal. These are in addition to the threats by insecurity as well as poverty and illiteracy. This gathering of civil society organizations from West Africa is to forge a common front to confront the growing threats to democracy. WADEMOS is a voluntary association of non-governmental, non-partisan civil society actors in the ECOWAS region. The primary purpose of WADEMOS is to build, strengthen and sustain solidarity and collective action among our membership for the purpose of promoting, supporting and strengthening democratic development and democratic governance in the region. Freedom Houses 2019 Freedom in the World report shows that of the 12 worst performers, uh, countries with the largest year-on-year -year score declines, five are in West Africa. That is Benin, Burkina Faso, Guinea, Mali and Nigeria. Representatives of the regional organizations, ECOWAS and African Union, acknowledged the threat to democratic governance and spoke of some of the measures being taken to checkmate the trend. The region is increasingly witnessing democracy eroding practices, including uh, acts of uh, strategic retreat from democratic norms. Uh, the manipulation of democratic norms, weaponization of the judiciary, and the instrumentalization of security agencies and identity to silence and marginalize opposition and dissenting voices, including civil society and the media. At the Accra launch of Wademos, a number of factors were identified to facilitate civil society accomplishment of its goals. And other at risk activists, human rights campaigners, and the others that continue to face re 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 repressive legislation and other author authoritarian attacks in their various countries. These include some of our members. We committed to focus our energies and resources in the short term on countries that have experienced recent democratic collapse and are in the midst of a political transition to restore democratic and constitutional government.